And there we go. We got the Jolly Roger Network recording as well. All right. Hi there. Are, are you the one that sent me the, the email this morning asking to be an investor? Okay, somebody did. Somebody sent me a really nice email. May I please have one free share? So, of course, I had to give them one and respond nicely. <laughs> so, should we have you do like the whole process of cutting the metal? Uh, uh, well, no, probably just make it your car. Okay. That's eight and a half dollars. So, okay, so the process starts with uh -huh. the blank card. It needs to have the hole punched in it. Okay. And that's the punch for that denomination. Oh, wow, you made this? No, these you can buy at like uh, Michael's or if you do it from the bottom, then, yeah, if you hold it like that, then you can see. Okay. And insert it like that. Oh. And then you can center it nicely. Uh, why are you able to... Oh, because these are designed for some other purpose, right? Yeah, those are... Oh. They're, for, they're general crafting. Oh, you press here. And so there's different sizes. This is a one inch. Ah, got it. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Oh, and... I should have prepared this better, but we're going to have to open up a pack of 100. The laminates. And so that's a, a laminate pouch, and it has to be opened up like a book first. Okay. Okay. And insert the card. Okay. And then take one of the pieces of the metal. Woo! That's a pre measured piece. Did you make these yourself? Uh, yeah, I cut them. I use a, uh, a gunpowder scale oh. to insert. It comes in a roll and I straighten it out and insert it to find where I can cut it. So, and that's right. Yeah. And then wrap it in one of the protective sleeves. Okay. okay. And then feed it through the folded edge first. Ah. And it'll grab it and pull it through. And when you get good at it, you can do uh, one card preparation in the amount of time it takes for one card to go through. I see. Yeah. So you can keep the machine running at 100%. Do you ever get tired, you ever get tired of doing it? I mean, oh, yes. Yeah, I bet. Right. Do you have assistants at all? Or? I have hired some people yeah. on temp basis. Um, when you get those $4,500 orders. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, or most of the time, I just do it myself. And you sit there for All right, here we go. Yes. Money! A near perfect job. <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? Thank you. It's fabulous. It's so creative. And you great. may keep that one. That's Thank yours. Thank you very much. Yeah. This is great entrepreneurship. And actually, one of the options that, that somebody was saying that we should be doing is having people like write things on there, or we have we have blank cards uh -huh. that people oh, could. Okay. <laughs> So we can have one from Leslie Fair Books or anything like oh, that? Oh yeah, we can do uh, what's called co-branding. Uh -huh. So, you know, these are some of the examples. Uh, Patriot Silver, the yeah. Libertarian Party of New Hampshire, the uh, Free State Project was our first co-brand. We have the Silver Calculator app. And many of these, they serve they serve as money in specific occasions, right? But like Porkfest, everybody's spending them. Everywhere. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, and, but other, otherwise, uh, I mean, those uses are limited for now, right? But, but it's continually growing. Continually growing. And now we have the, the franchise opportunity. This is our first franchise, so we're expanding into that business. So what's interesting, though, is that money began in an, an act of entrepreneurship itself. I mean, Carl Menger describes this. It's not as if it's just an anonymous, organic process, money magically appears. No, it's because smart people go, hey, here's a cool thing. This can work for indirect exchange. Uh, it's, it's like a business. You know, it's, it's entrepreneurship. And whoever made that first connection yes. of, we can use this, that was a real genius yes. move. Yes, right, it is. And, but, but the process never ends. And just because the state owns all the money and makes all the money doesn't mean that monetary entrepreneurship is over. It, yeah. can, it can begin again 
whenever the money fails, uh, well, and or it have, starts to fail, then, then you've got people like you who step in. And we've got, you know, an example here. This is one of the earlier versions of our card. Right. And you can see on the back, you know, it's fairly plain. The newer versions are um, a nicer design. And we have the QR codes on the back, right? So people can find the the silver calculator app, or use the other QR code to directly find out the value of to, the card. You can uh, convert it into any other currency. Yep. Dollars, yen, euros, Bitcoin. Yes. And you have a good relationship with the Bitcoin community. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So you have a kind of a, a combination of uh, high tech digital currency with this sort of ancient value of precious metal, and all, they and all they working together. They complement each other very well, yeah. and they totally eliminate the need for any of the government money. Yeah. So we're very happy about you're, that. You're a great man and a great hero. What you've done, congratulations to you. Thank you. I'm excited about it. I think I'm just going to finally do the article that I should have done last year. <laughs> that would be fantastic.